Hello, welcome back. Now we are on a hydrogen fuel cell. A hydrogen fuel cell is being set up as such where hydrogen and oxygen are continuously being supplied to this cell here. Okay, and you notice something very different about this uh, electrolysis setup. Okay, we are very used to anode and ketone, but in the middle, okay, it's really usually a voltmeter or batteries. Am I right? But in this case, it's a motor. Okay, how does this work? Okay, basically, hydrogen undergoes oxidation to form H plus ions. Okay, I'll just write a very simplified uh redox equation because you're not required to know the full setup and the full chemical equation behind it. So how this works is just H two to form. Okay, um, basically H plus plus electrons, am I right? Okay, it's not balanced okay, because I don't want to bore you with uh, the details that you don't have to know for now. And this is what is ha being happening at the A node because we know the A node is uh, oxidation. And we know that, uh, let me just use green, okay, electrons are being produced here. Okay, so this is how the electrons will flow. Okay, this is electron flow. Electrons will flow from A node up to this motor here where we run the uh, current okay you will run this whole machine for example a car okay a hydrogen fuel cell car so you can see that electrons release in oxidation which is this one flow through external circuit as current okay as electricity basically to uh, supply it with electrical energy basically to run the car okay so when the car is being run okay uh, this oxygen okay then returns back to this cell okay so this whole setup is in its cell but this motor is connected to somewhere else maybe to run the wheels or something okay be, but after it runs this motor this electron has to flow back down okay now it goes up here does its thing and comes back down this is when oxygen undergoes reduction to form oxide uh, ions and this is the simplified uh, working is as such o2 plus electrons now to form my oxide ion O2 minus. Okay, because if you recall, oxidation is to give out electrons, uh, and reduction is to take in electrons. Okay, this electron is the same. Okay, so these electrons produced here, used up here. Okay, so electron flows like this. Okay, so now electrons returning is used in reduction by oxygen. Okay, simple to form oxide ions. And now what do we have? We have okay. Let me show you. We have H plus ion, hydrogen ions and oxide ions they actually combine to form water okay so it's h plus plus o2 minus to give us h2o okay but there's two h here so we write a two here okay and this is what we have oxygen as the final product and it's the only product so let me just recap how this whole thing works again hydrogen okay undergoes oxidation to form h plus and electron which flows up here to the motor and does its own thing, which you don't have to know, okay? You just have to know that electrons flow through here to run the motor. And then the electrons have to come back down, okay? You cannot just stay there forever. It has to come back down and it will be used up by the oxygen to form oxide ions. And now we know that we have the final products of the half equation, uh, H plus and O2 minus, which will then combine to form water, which is the final product. And it's very clean, okay? And that's why hydrogen cell has its own uh, potential as a fuel to be used as a fuel to replace our um usual gas okay to run our cars okay gas and oil to run our cars because the reaction is highly exothermic means it gives us a lot of heat a lot of energy um and as much energy as conventional burning of h2 and o2 which will actually give us um uh some gases that we don't want right greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide carbon monoxide etc okay that's not very that's not very good for our environment uh but if we were to use this method, it will only produce water, which is actually very good. Okay, water is not is not harmful. Can actually, uh, in fact, it can be useful. Okay, to uh supply other operations, and it's a very clean source of energy because the only product is water. Okay, as stated here, and hydrogen is easily obtained via cracking or electrolysis of water. So it's saying that hydrogen, okay, it's readily available as a reactant, unlike um our fuels and gases we which we have to dig deep into the ground for. Okay, uh, to get all the oil reserves, etc. So to sum up, hydrogen fuel cell is um, basically is a very good potential fuel. But the problem is that this re this technology has not yet been thoroughly researched, and so our cars now currently are still running on petrol and gases, etc. Okay, uh, and that's all for hydrogen fuel cell.